Hi, this is Krathian again, and here is a video review of the Fly Cool Pro Jacket from Fly Racing. So here, we'll do a quick walk around. You'll notice it has armor in the elbows, also in the shoulders, in the back. There's two separate pieces in the back here as well and they can be adjusted for comfort in the lower part. There's also a little bit, I think it's just foam padding down here around the rear hip area, of course. The shoulder and elbow pads. It has fly racing logos on it in a couple of places. Okay, the overall construction of the jacket is not bad at all. You know, I am pretty sure that these were, you know, made in China or Thailand or something. You know, it, they're not, you know, the most expensive for sure. But for what I wanted, I wanted something that would keep me nice and cool where I live here in Northern California. All summer long, it often gets into the upper 90s low 100s so I only have a couple of complaints about this jacket I'll show you right here zipping it up or down it tends to get snagged right here where the 3M reflective piping is now you open it up you see 2XL I said in my CBR 500R review, I am a big guy. And this jacket, actually, for me, even though I am quite a big guy, it runs pretty large. Um, its performance on a hot day is fantastic. I mean, you know, I deliver mail for a living. <laughs> so I'm out in this heat walking around all day long by the time I'm done with everything you know I am just you know I'm tired crabby sweaty feeling like junk but then you know I slip on the jacket I hop on the bike it's like wearing an air conditioner it's that good no joke I mean it is amazing it's all you know self wicking material in this mesh as you can see you can kind of see through it. I would highly recommend it if you live in a hot area. I lived in Cheyenne, Wyoming before when I used to have my R6 and you know I had a mesh jacket back then but it didn't work anywhere near as nice is this Fly Cool Pro jacket. I, now, I think Fly quit making this model and they have a Cool Pro too. And from everything I could see in the pictures, it's basically the same jacket. The logos are in a slightly different place. Now, as far as, you know, if you're, I'm a big guy and I have it snugged in here. But if you needed to, like if you just really porked it up over the holidays, all of this unzips and expands even farther. So you can expand it, you can tighten it down. It has Velcro on both sides. It's got pockets on both sides. As well as interior pockets, just held in place with Velcro. A cell phone pocket here's the zip up for that and it has an attachment down on the bottom for your pants so you can if you buy the cool pro pants you can zip it right to it I tried zipping them to a friend's pants of a different brand and it zipped right up just fine you know there's, they also have belt loop attachments so you can you know you can get on there nice and snug for your ride if you really want to. I haven't used those options yet. Now here's the pocket on the other side. 
you know, uh, for the price, these fly racing jackets, I really don't think that they can be beat. You know, they say this is ballistic nylon mesh. So, yeah, if you get into a heavy wreck, they won't last. But for the price and as cool as they keep me on a really hot day, it was just 97 degrees here the other day. And I rode home on my bike and it was just awesome. So there you go. Little video review of the fly racing jacket any comments suggestions i don't have a lot of video equipment yet i'm looking at getting some more so i'm filming this on my cell phone actually if you have any questions just leave a remark